here. This is a review of the BMW 535D. Beautiful car. An excellent example of fine German engineering with a diesel engine. Incredible performance in a very economical package. Let's take a first spin. This is a really cool car. It's got lots of horsepowers and it's completely maneuverable. Let me show you. We go from this lane into this lane in the blink of an eye. It's incredible. Then when we come to the corner, we go like this and the car just, it just goes. So this segment of the road really shows off the, the, the performance of this vehicle. We're going up a very steep hill. I have the cruise control locked in at 47 miles an hour and it's like the car, it's like the car doesn't even have to try. I mean, look at this hill. Look at how steep it is. I mean, you could go to the Rocky Mountains and not encounter hills like this. Heaven forbid we were going in the opposite direction. That would really test the brakes, wouldn't it? We stopped at a light, thank God, so I can let my adrenaline surge kind of calm down because I just, you can only take this car in small doses. So, but I'm, I'm about to hit the gas pedal once the light turns green and I'm just afraid at what might happen to my neck. This puts a lot of stress on this vertebrae, doesn't it? Because, because the acceleration, the number of G's transmitted up through my spine, and this, this headrest just can't contain the acceleration and, and the lateral acceleration. And, and, and now we're about to go up this, this, this steep hill here. You could just hear the revs. So the car we're in is actually a diesel model. It's a BMW 535D. D stands for diesel, which is the kind of fuel that the car uses, diesel. The diesel fuel is actually an oil, and it's quite greasy. And if you get it on your hands while you're filling up the car, you're cursing yourself thinking, why, why to God did I not get a gasoline car for God's sakes? Because you get this oil all over and then it gets all over the car. The good thing about it is the tank is so humongous that you go longer between fill-ups because it holds much more fuel. Also, diesel fuel is extremely stable, so it doesn't give off all those volatile gases which makes gasoline deteriorate over time, you see. So it lasts longer, so if you park the car for months, you can be sure when you get back in, the quality of the fuel is essentially the same as when you left it, eh? So this car has incredible performance. It has a suspension that's tuned and it's adaptive. Adaptive means it adapts to what it needs to adapt to while you're driving. Actually does that. So what does it need to adapt to? Well, if you start doing crazy stuff behind the wheel, it adapts to it and tries to tame it so it's not that crazy. Uh, the other thing is it's got incredible torque because the diesel engine is made for torque. Now, I don't know what that means, but it sounds great, doesn't it? And it means that it's got power that you can use. Unfortunately, on the roads here in America, you can't use it because we got cops and we have speed limits and we have other jerks on the road that don't know how to drive they'll end up killing you if you don't look out for them so most of the time you take that suspension and the handling and the performance and the acceleration and the braking and the and the tires and you do absolutely nothing with it because you're driving just like this And that's what you actually do with a car like this. Because you don't go nuts and do all the things that it's capable of doing, because that would be that would be actually crazy, wouldn't it? Now, if we had this on the Autobahn, that's another story. Because then you could go like 250 kilometers per hour, and there are still people whizzing past you, you see. But, but you're the slow guy at that speed, and that's just fine for me, because 250 kilometers an hour, do, do you know how fast that is? That's, that's faster than 240 kilometers an hour. It's actually 10 kilometers an hour faster. And now here we are on the freeway, 
and we're doing 110, actually, actually close to 120 kilometers an hour, which is an incredible 72 miles an hour. And the car is just rock stable in the middle of the line. And, 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 and it just doesn't want to track anywhere, but just straight forward, you see. And it's just such a pleasure to drive because you got guys like this whizzing past you and you don't even hear them. This is insulated, the car's insulated, aerodynamic and smooth. And it's, it's really made for cruising. And, and that's what we're doing right now. We're cruising. And, and, and I got the cruise control locked in and I swear it does not move. From from the exact setting over a long period of time, the car just does not get tired. It says 72 miles an hour, 112 kilometers an hour, for those of you who think in those terms, and it just keeps going. And so now it's night time, which is a good time to demonstrate how this car drives and performs at night. You probably aren't surprised to know that it drives exactly the same as it does during the day. Acceleration, torque, handling are all identical to that which we experience at night. The main difference is it's dark outside. <laughs> We're depending upon these LED headlights to illuminate the road before us. And let me tell you, they do a great job. This car has one on the left side and another one on the right side. And they each light up their portion of the road so we can really see spectacular. Now, even if this car here was not lit up with its own taillights, we would be able to see it. That's how good these headlights are. 